It's Christmas 2021. The country has been occupied by Marxist globalists. The Constitution has been suspended and depopulation has begun. What do you think, Harley? Should we prepare Christmas dinner? How about something different than squirrel meat, raccoons, and venison? Because today's special. It's Christmas. I think there's a ham in here somewhere. We'll splurge on our supplies because, after all, it's Christmas. Oh, there it is. Last one. Not that I've ever been the biggest fan of people. Look at me when I'm talking to you. It sure would be nice to have someone to talk to once in a while. Because you're not much of a conversationalist. But at least you're a good listener. Too bad other people weren't. We could have avoided all of this. They didn't have to come for the guns. They just dried up all the ammunition. Just like the food. And then people had to submit and go to where the food was when they weren't willing to or able to hunt for it themselves. Then at that point, those who hadn't prepared ahead of time they had a choice to make. Most chose to rely on what they thought was a government who had their best interests at heart. When the reality of it was, it was anything but. Everything still looks the same. Except for the fact that there aren't any people. No children out playing. No cars. Just pretty much silence. Because anybody who wasn't self-sufficient had to go to the cities or wherever they ended up. I remember saying to people a few years ago, beware those who say they are here to help because it's entirely possible that they're only here to help themselves. Not unlike the proud Americans they came before us. The story unfolded pretty much the same way. The so-called civilized people with better ideas undermined the way of life of the people who were already here. It made it almost impossible for that way of life to continue. And unfortunately, not unlike the saga of the American Indian, we spent too much time arguing amongst ourselves and saying we had better things to do than to worry about our freedom.
sure this was probably something that was said back then. We don't have time for a conflict. We have to prepare for the next buffalo hunt, for the next festival or whatever, as their freedom and their lifestyle was slowly sucked away. Maybe even there were a few back then that said they should be glad for the rancid meat and infected blankets because that's all they had. The same that was said last year by the people who witnessed all of the damage and the hundreds of thousands of people who were killed or injured because of the vaccines that they forced on everyone today. It's said that those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. And I can say, based on what I have witnessed, that that statement is absolutely true. Because now their society has labeled us the renegades just because we choose to be free. If only people had realized in 2020 that they were celebrating their last Christmas, they might have acted or reacted differently. One day soon, Harley, they'll be coming for us because we choose to be free. Even if that freedom does come with some hardship. Because the concept of liberty and freedom must be snuffed out in order for their system to survive. So Merry Christmas, Harley. Because we're enjoying the greatest gift of all. Because we have chosen to be free. Now, am I saying that's the way things are gonna play out? No, nothing's written in stone, and this isn't over until it's over. However, it's definitely a possibility. And if you aren't willing to prepare yourself for that fact, you're in a whole lot of trouble. Merry Christmas, everyone.